Tonight, neighbors want answers after raw sewage bubbled up into their yards during Hurricane Irma. At first, they thought it was from a failed water lift station, but tonight, News 6 found out human error really caused the problem. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live in Oviedo tonight. So, Eric, what happened? Well, you know, sewage in this area of Oviedo usually runs through this facility right here. It's called the Iron Bridge facility, Matt, but not after Hurricane Irma swept through here. And that created a huge mess just a couple blocks away. Tonight, News 6 watched as Seminole County crews started cleaning up a dried stream of raw sewage in Patty Spasuza's front yard. Spasuza shot this video as she says the sewage bubbled up from the ground right after Hurricane Irma. It was as loud as the water fountain. She and her neighbor Mike Gilly say it was also percolating from manhole covers up and down their street. And you couldn't stand out here. I mean, even now, depending on which way the wind blows, it's still an issue. And I went out here and looked and uh, it was just just coming out and kept coming out. At first, Seminole County water crews thought it was a failed lift station, but News 6 found out that wasn't the case. County Commission Chairman John Horan told us a 30-inch valve connecting the Carillon community with the Iron Bridge water treatment plant was never opened. That sent raw sewage right into this neighborhood. The plant is run by the city of Orlando, and tonight, these neighbors want to know why it happened. I've got an eight-year-old son. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want him playing out here in raw sewage. Help getting it all cleaned up and cleaned out. Now, I talked with the city of Orlando tonight. They said they are looking into what happened here at this water plant, but they would not comment on whether or not they're going to help clean up that neighborhood. They said their initial focus right now is making sure the city of Orlando gets back up on its feet after the storm. We'll let you know what they decide. We are live in Oviedo tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt. All right, Eric, thank you.